first ever belt. time ever an object from interstellar space has been observed to visit our solar system. Since the dawn of humanity, we've been grappling with the question of whether we're alone in the universe. As we've gained more knowledge about the planets in our solar system, it's been evident that no life exists. But what if that's limited to our solar system? This became a pressing question when we first encountered Oumuamua. Scientists have confirmed that Oumuamua had been traveling 600,000 years before entering our solar system. Now what's astonishing is that it's returned and something terrifying is happening. Join us as we uncover what's truly going on and consider what it could mean for the future of Earth. In 2017, astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery by spotting an object called Oumuamua. This finding caused quite a stir in the scientific community because Oumuamua was the first known interstellar object to pass through our solar system. This was a big deal because it provided scientists with a unique opportunity to study a celestial body that originated from outside our solar system. Before Oumuamua, astronomers mostly focused on observing objects within our solar system. The arrival of Oumuamua opened up a whole new avenue of exploration, allowing researchers to gain insights into the properties, composition, and dynamics of objects from beyond our immediate cosmic neighborhood, a possibility that seemed far-fetched just a few years ago. Describing this as an unprecedented find would be an understatement. But why is this so significant? Well, exploring Oumuamua was crucial for various reasons. First, it gave scientists the chance to investigate the diversity and composition of objects in other star systems, helping us understand better the building blocks and formation processes of celestial bodies throughout the universe. By analyzing its composition and structure, researchers aimed to uncover clues about the conditions and processes that shaped Oumuamua as it journeyed across interstellar space. And here's what they discovered. Oumuamua appears as a rocky, elongated object shaped like a cigar, standing out with its unique aspect ratio when compared to asteroids or comets in our solar system. Unlike comets, which are icy bodies originating from outer regions of the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud, Oumuamua is composed of rock, Unlike the distinctive shape of Oumuamua, comets usually have a more rounded or irregular appearance. They often look like dirty snowballs with uneven contours and various surface features, in contrast to Oumuamua's elongated form. As comets approach the sun and warm up, the ice in their nucleus turns into gas, releasing dust particles. This process can create a cloud of gas and dust around the nucleus, sometimes forming a tail that points away from the sun due to solar wind and radiation pressure. Comets can differ in size, with most having nuclei ranging from a few hundred meters to a few kilometers in diameter. The nucleus, the solid part, is usually smaller and denser than the coma and tail. Sizes can vary greatly. For instance, Halley's Comet, returning every 76 years, has an estimated 15-kilometer diameter nucleus. While some comets have larger nuclei reaching tens of kilometers or more, they generally share a similar shape. The reddish color of Oumuamua sets it apart from common comets, resembling objects found in the outer reaches of our solar system. This reddish tint hints at a unique composition or surface characteristics. Notably, despite getting close to the sun on its journey, Oumuamua didn't show any signs of a coma. It was evident that this wasn't your typical comet, but something different. And there's more to it. One of the most interesting aspects of Oumuamua's behavior is its non-gravitational acceleration, indicating additional forces at play beyond the sun's gravitational pull. This phenomenon can be explained by two main factors, outgassing and solar radiation pressure. Outgassing occurs when volatile substances, like gases or ices within the surface layers of the celestial object, vaporize and are expelled into space. When a comet gets near the sun, the increased heat causes materials in its nucleus to sublimate, releasing gas and dust. The expelled material forms a glowing coma around the nucleus and can create a distinctive tail. Outgassing suggests the presence of volatile substances within Oumuamua. Similar to comets, this process could propel Oumuamua, causing it to deviate from the expected path influenced solely by gravitational forces. Now let's talk about solar radiation pressure. This is the force from sunlight on objects in space. 
Photons, which are particles of light, carry momentum. When they hit a surface, they transfer a tiny bit of their momentum. While each photon's impact is small, the combined effect of countless photons from sunlight creates significant pressure on objects. This pressure can push against the object, causing a slight acceleration. In the case of Oumuamua, its elongated shape and the sun's radiation pressure might lead to a non-gravitational acceleration. But that's not all. As Oumuamua spins, it shows notable changes in brightness, varying tenfold. It completes one full rotation every 7.3 hours. This level of brightness change is more than any known asteroid or comet in our solar system, emphasizing Oumuamua's unique nature. Now, when it comes to size, things get a bit tricky. Size estimates vary in different studies and observations. Various forces provide different perspectives on its dimensions, making it complex to actually pin down its actual size. According to a NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory study, Oumuamua's spherical diameter could range from a maximum of about 1,440 feet to a minimum of 320 feet. This study suggests that Oumuamua might have a spherical shape with a diameter falling within this range. On the flip side, NASA's Solar System Exploration gives an estimate that focuses on the stretched-out shape of Oumuamua. It suggests that Oumuamua is highly elongated, possibly a quarter of a mile long and about 10 times longer than it is wide. This means Oumuamua has a significant length along its main axis, making it much longer than its width. However, a more recent study offers a different view, proposing that Oumuamua is smaller than initially thought. According to this study, Oumuamua's size was first estimated to be 147 by 144 by 24 feet when astronomers first spotted it. This estimate points to a smaller physical size for Oumuamua compared to earlier studies. But one consistent detail across all these studies is that Oumuamua is a cigar-shaped object, an object that requires thorough examination for a full understanding. And the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope, located near the summit of Haleakala on the island of Maui, Hawaii, plays a crucial role in studying Oumuamua and other celestial objects. With a diameter of 1.8 meters, it's a vital component of the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System Project, a collaboration involving the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, MIT Lincoln Laboratory, Maui High Performance Computing Center, and Science Applications International Corporation. The PanSTARRS project aims to continuously survey the sky using astronomical cameras, telescopes, and a computing facility. This system not only spots moving or changing objects, but also provides precise measurements of known celestial bodies. Starting full-time observations on May 13, 2010, the telescope has made significant discoveries, like detecting Oumuamua. What makes the PanSTARRS-1 telescope stand out, especially for studying Oumuamua, is its wide-field optical design. This design allows the telescope to scan a large part of the sky during observations, increasing the chances of spawning faint objects that might go unnoticed. It boasts a 7-square-degree field of view and an unprecedented 1.4-gigapixel camera, enabling the collection of vast data and improving the telescope's accuracy in detecting and tracking celestial objects. But there's more. The PanSTARRS-1 telescope location in Hawaii brings several advantages for studying Oumuamua. The island provides clear dark skies, reducing light pollution and optimizing observation conditions. This pristine setting, combined with the telescope's sensitivity to faint objects, played a crucial role in successfully detecting Oumuamua as it passed through our solar system. Oumuamua came into our solar system from the general direction of the constellation Lyra, but we don't know exactly where it came from. Its trip through space could have taken billions of years, drifting through the galaxy before reaching our solar system. A study in the journal Nature Astronomy suggested an interesting theory about Oumuamua's origin. According to this research, Oumuamua was likely once part of a bigger planetary body in another solar system. However, intense gravitational forces from its host star tore it apart, scattering fragments into space, and Oumuamua began its journey through interstellar space where it got ejected from its home system. One intriguing thing about Oumuamua's behavior in our solar system is its unexpected acceleration that we discussed earlier. The object gained speed, slightly altering its course from what was initially predicted. Initially, 
Oumuamua entered our solar system from above the plane where the planets orbit. It then came within a distance of 0.25 astronomical units from the Sun, getting relatively close to our star. After its closest approach to the Sun, Oumuamua continued its journey, going below the plane of the planets. The interstellar object traveled at a notable speed of around 196,000 miles per hour as it moved through our solar system. This high speed indicates that Oumuamua had significant kinetic energy during its passage. But this might also be linked to how Oumuamua is formed. Studies reveal that Oumuamua has a tough outer layer made of carbon-rich materials, solidified by cosmic radiation during its lengthy journey through interstellar space. On the inside, Oumuamua is dense, mainly composed of rock, possibly containing metallic elements and notably lacking water or ice, setting it apart from typical comets or icy bodies. The surface of Oumuamua has reddened due to prolonged exposure to cosmic rays over millions of years. Now, here's another aspect of the story. Some experts suggest Oumuamua might be an artificial creation crafted by some extraterrestrial civilization. This theory stems from a few intriguing features. Firstly, its shape is unconventional. Rather than being round like most celestial objects, it's elongated, resembling a cigar. Its length surpasses its width, making it distinct from anything observed before. Another oddity is Oumuamua's movement. It doesn't adhere to the normal gravitational patterns we're familiar with. Some propose it could have been propelled by a special kind of engine or alien technology. The idea is that Oumuamua might have used a light sail to harness energy from stars, propelling itself forward. Some speculate it could be part of an advanced alien spaceship or equipment sent to explore other star systems. There's a belief that its journey through our solar system was intentional, possibly part of a deliberate alien mission. What's interesting about Oumuamua is that it didn't have a tail or release gas like typical comets or asteroids. Some speculate this could be intentional, maybe a way for aliens to keep a low profile. The idea is that aliens might have employed a different kind of propulsion that we haven't fully grasped yet. Now let's talk about the reddish color of Oumuamua and its surface properties. We touched on the radiation aspect, but if Oumuamua were an alien spacecraft or artifact, its reddish color could have various explanations. One possibility is that the aliens intentionally designed the surface to have a reddish hue. They might have used specific materials or coatings that interact with cosmic radiation and stellar energy, giving it its unique color. In this speculative scenario, the purpose of the reddish coloring could vary. It might act as camouflage, allowing Oumuamua to blend in with the reddish objects commonly found in the outer regions of star systems. The goal could be to reduce the chances of detection or unwanted attention. But why hide? Imagine a highly advanced extraterrestrial civilization in a distant star system. These beings have advanced technology, exploring the cosmos and monitoring other civilizations for knowledge. They spot Earth and its signs of life, intrigued by our planet. They decide to send a reconnaissance mission for information gathering. In this scenario, Oumuamua could be seen as a vessel designed by these alien beings. The odd shape and composition of Oumuamua could serve various purposes. Its elongated form might help it to endure interstellar travel, reducing the impact of cosmic debris and maintaining stability on its lengthy journey. The propulsion system could enable Oumuamua to cover vast distances and navigate space with precision. Outfitted with advanced sensors and communication devices, it could discreetly gather data about Earth its atmosphere, surface composition, and signs of intelligent life. This information could then be sent back to its creators for distant study. This could explain why Oumuamua initially headed for Earth and then changed course abruptly. Perhaps it had already collected all the necessary data, prompting the shift in path as it headed back beyond our solar system. While this might sound far-fetched, considering Oumuamua's unique nature, it's not unreasonable to think it differs significantly from an average comet. So the theory has a certain logic to it. Confirming or debunking this theory would require a detailed study of Oumuamua. However, that's no easy task. Launching a spacecraft by 2028, carefully designed to withstand interstellar conditions and equipped with advanced instruments to study Oumuamua's composition, shape, and behavior would be the necessary groundwork for such a space mission. 
After launching, the spacecraft's job would be to catch up with Oumuamua, involving a tricky maneuver around Jupiter. This move uses Jupiter's gravity to push the spacecraft forward, cutting down the time to reach Oumuamua. The estimate is around 26 years for the spacecraft to meet up with Oumuamua, depending on its speed and path. Another plan involves using the gravitational pull of Venus, Earth, and Jupiter. By aligning the spacecraft's path with these planets, reaching Oumuamua in a similar time frame becomes possible, with fewer risks from a close encounter with the Sun. On its journey, the spacecraft would spend about four years getting boosts from the gravitational pull of Earth, Venus, and Jupiter. These boosts help the spacecraft gain speed and tweak its path, ensuring it arrives precisely at Oumuamua between 2050 and 2054. Once there, the spacecraft enters a crucial scientific phase. Its advanced tools would analyze Oumuamua's composition, offering valuable insights into what it's made of and potentially revealing more about its origin and nature. Additionally, the spacecraft would observe Oumuamua's shape and behavior, collecting detailed data to help us uncover its mysteries. Maintaining communication with Earth during the Oumuamua mission poses a considerable challenge due to its vast distance from our planet. To address this, the spacecraft would require an advanced communication system, possibly using technologies like NASA's Deep Space Network, or DSN. The DSN, designed for long-range communication, boasts powerful transmitters and sensitive receivers. The spacecraft could transmit data to a DSN station, which would then relay the information back to Earth, providing valuable insights. Beyond traditional radio wave communication, alternative methods like laser communication systems offer some intriguing possibilities. Using focused laser beams could significantly boost data transmission rates compared to radio waves. The spacecraft might establish a laser link with Earth-based telescopes or relay stations for faster and more efficient data transmission across interstellar distances. Looking ahead, the concept of an interstellar internet is ambitious but fascinating. This envisions a network of strategically placed relay stations acting as nodes to route data from the spacecraft to Earth similar to how data travels between nodes on the Internet. Establishing such a network would demand groundbreaking advancements in communication technology. The spacecraft would need advanced transmitters and receivers capable of handling vast distances, employing cutting-edge modulation and coding techniques to optimize data transmission and counteract signal degradation. Another way to communicate during a space mission to study Oumuamua could involve teaming up with projects like Elon Musk's Starlink, Starlink aims to build a large satellite network in low Earth orbit for global broadband coverage. By tapping into the Starlink constellation, potentially made up of thousands of satellites, we could boost communication capabilities for deep space missions. The spacecraft sent to explore Oumuamua could carry a communication system compatible with Starlink's network. Once linked with the Starlink satellites in low Earth orbit, the spacecraft could transmit data back to Earth. This might offer broader coverage and potentially speed up data transfer, benefiting the scientific study of Oumuamua. It's worth noting that making such collaboration work would need careful coordination among space agencies, private companies like SpaceX, and the scientific community. Technical factors, like ensuring communication protocols match, the spacecraft's equipment is adaptable, and orbits sync up, need attention. These can be a bit challenging. But considering NASA is already collaborating with SpaceX, it might not be a huge leap for them to join forces for research too, don't you think? Now let's imagine we've cracked the communication hurdle, but tackling the study of Oumuamua brings a set of challenges beyond that. While delving into Oumuamua offers an exceptional chance for scientific exploration, it's not a walk in the park. There are numerous technical obstacles on the horizon, Interstellar objects like Oumuamua demand top-notch instruments and tech that can handle the harsh conditions of space. Engineers and scientists must craft cutting-edge gear to function flawlessly in the extreme cold, vacuum, and radiation of interstellar space. This calls for creative solutions and thorough testing to guarantee the reliability and functionality of the spacecraft and its instruments. Exploring an object like Oumuamua also comes with unknown risks since we don't fully understand its exact nature and composition. Unexpected challenges might crop up during the mission, such as encountering hazardous substances, facing high levels of radiation, or dealing with micrometeoroid impacts. To tackle these risks, 
scientists and engineers must develop mitigation strategies to protect the spacecraft and ensure the mission's safety. Navigating and controlling the spacecraft's path to intercept Oumuamua poses significant challenges. It requires precise navigation and complex maneuvers. The spacecraft must align with Oumuamua's trajectory and adjust its course accordingly. Even a tiny miscalculation could lead to missed opportunities or collision risks. Accurate trajectory calculations and reliable propulsion systems are crucial for a successful mission. Though not a topic everyone eagerly discusses in real-life theorizing, resource limitations also play a role. Launching a sizable space mission demands significant finances, cutting-edge tech, and international collaboration. Securing funding, resources, and support from space agencies and governments can be challenging, especially with other priorities in space exploration. To tackle these hurdles, strategic planning, partnerships, and effective coordination among stakeholders are essential. However, it doesn't mean we can't learn more about this intriguing object. There's plenty we can do right here on Earth. One approach involves using telescopes and instruments to observe Oumuamua. Although its brief visibility poses challenges, astronomers captured valuable data during its passage through our solar system. These observations offered initial insights, and since everything is well documented, scientists worldwide can collaborate to extract more information. Crucial for understanding Oumuamua's origin and destination is determining its orbit. Calculating its trajectory helps piece together the object's interstellar journey, revealing the likely region of space it came from. Even if we don't learn more about Oumuamua itself, these orbit calculations contribute to our grasp of interstellar objects' dynamics and their interactions with our solar system, marking a significant achievement. Computer simulations play a crucial role in studying Oumuamua. Scientists can create virtual models using available data to explore various scenarios and test hypotheses about the object's composition, behavior, and possible origins. These simulations help researchers refine their understanding of Oumuamua's properties, shedding light on the processes at play during its interstellar journey. Examining the chemical makeup of Oumuamua is another avenue of investigation. By analyzing its spectral signatures and conducting chemical analyses, scientists can gain insights into its elemental composition, potentially revealing clues about its formation and nature. Recent research suggests Oumuamua might come from a comet made of nitrogen ice, emphasizing the importance of chemical analysis in unraveling its mysteries. Comparative studies also contribute to understanding Oumuamua. Scientists compare its properties to known objects in our solar system and beyond, drawing parallels and distinctions that provide valuable context and insights into its unique characteristics. These comparisons contribute to our broader understanding of the diversity and nature of celestial objects. Looking forward, there are exciting prospects for studying interstellar objects. Projects like the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory are poised to revolutionize our ability to detect and study these objects. The LSST, expected to be fully operational in 2023, aims to discover over 100 interstellar objects larger than 2 meters each year offering new targets for research. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, with its deep and systematic sky surveys, promises to expand our understanding of cosmic phenomena, including interstellar visitors, making it a perfect fit for studying Oumuamua. While the PanStars-1 does a lot of the heavy lifting, it doesn't mind a bit of assistance. The Hubble Space Telescope, a handy astronomical observatory run by NASA and ESA, has been a useful tool for examining Oumuamua. Thanks to its high-resolution imaging capabilities, Hubble has snapped detailed pictures of the object, giving us valuable info about its shape, surface, and color, essential details that could be a game-changer in understanding more about it. Back on Earth, we also rely on the Very Large Telescope in Chile, run by the European Southern Observatory. It's been key in observing Oumuamua and is well-equipped to keep doing so. With fancy tools like the Focal Reducer and Low Dispersion Spectrograph 2, the VLT has enabled us to analyze Oumuamua's spectrum, shedding light on its composition and possibly revealing unique traits. But it's not a solo act. The Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, also in Chile, adds to optical observations by checking out Oumuamua at longer wavelengths. ALMA's array of radio telescopes has given us useful data, 
including insights into any gas emissions from the object, offering more clues about what makes it tick. While Oumuamua passed through our solar system before the James Webb Space Telescope launched, this eagerly awaited space observatory shows great potential for future studies of interstellar objects. Equipped with advanced tools and heightened sensitivity, the JWST might offer fresh observations and reveal intriguing details about similar cosmic visitors, enhancing our understanding. This means we'll not only be prepared if Oumuamua revisits, but also equipped to thoroughly explore any new space object, just like Oumuamua did, catching everyone on Earth by surprise. Can we ever truly figure out what was inside Oumuamua? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, we'll catch you in the next one.